Hey, Steven. Hey, what's up, man? Not much. What's up? I'm doing great. I'm doing great. Um, so, I remember you reached out because you wanted to, to have a little discussion because uh, you had some questions and things like that. So, I don't know any other way to do it except saying, shall we, I guess would be the best way of saying it. Sure. So, I'll just give the time to you and you can explain which, exactly what it is that you've come across what you want to know. Okay. So, I, I mean, Stephen, I like being a member of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints and I believe in the church and its teachings and all, but there are some questions that really bug me. And I recently ran into this online document called the CES Letter. Uh, it's written by a former member of the church, so who left because he had all these questions and doubts about the church and he compiled them all into one lengthy letter and he sent that to a church educational system, so CES. Yeah. But when I first read it, some of them are just cynical, and some of them are even hostile, but, but some of them, I feel like a lot of them are quite legit. So it really bugged me, and I mean, this is not something I would bring up on Sunday school. And I thought about studying it, but I just don't feel like I have time and energy to prove all that. So. Uh, that I'd ask you because uh, you teach religion. Well, I mean, sure thing. I, um, I mean, I do teach religion, so I love talking about the gospel. I love talking about the scriptures. I love talking about the Savior. And I've actually had quite a bit of, you know, interaction with these types of things just to be ready for any time a student had questions. And so I can't say that I know everything, right? But, um, but I'm willing to, to hear what you got to see if there's something that I might say that might be a benefit. Okay. So let's, let's do it. So the first question I have is about the authenticity of the Book of Mormon. I mean, that's why people call us Mormon, right? Yeah. And I joined the church right before I go to high school. And my family has been in different Presbyterian churches for years, so I was quite familiar with the Bible. Of course. I noticed back then that when I read the Book of Mormon, there are several passages like, the Isaiah part quoted and then Jesus visiting the Nephites and teaching stuff. They're like copy and paste from the Bible. But C.S. letter brought up something that I haven't thought about. Um, JST, the Joseph Smith translation. Uh -huh. I mean, it's supposed to be more correct translation of the Bible. Yeah. And I mean, I, I read them at the footnotes of the, the King James Bible we use or church uses. And it, some of them I like because it just makes more sense to me. But then C.S. later brought up something that I haven't thought about. Let me find what I can find. So it says, the Book of Mormon includes biblical passages that were later changed in Joseph Smith's translation of the Bible. These Book of Mormon verses should match the inspired JST version, but they still match the incorrect King James Version that Joseph later fixed. Like when Jesus taught the Sermon on the Mount in the third Nephi. The King James Version and the Book of Mormon are the same, but the JST is quite different. So, if both the Book of Mormon and the King James, I mean, the JST came from God, mm. then why are these passages different? So, it's important to realize, a lot of people, they think that the JST is the Lord adding to the Bible, word for word, what was lost or corrupted over time. And in some cases, the Lord, he would add very specific doctrines or teachings that, that were taken out. But mostly um, what he's doing is he's, he's basically through inspiration to, to Joseph Smith is giving a, a commentary or, or a study guide to help us understand uh, the scriptures better. So Joseph Smith, he reads over the Bible and he, by inspiration, um, he makes the corrections that he feels would help clarify and help us understand scriptures and doctrine. Okay, um, a better way to maybe might just be to, to read what it says in the, in the Bible dictionary. This is what it says. Um, Although not the official Bible of the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints, the JST offers many interesting insights and is an invaluable aid to biblical interpretation and understanding. It is a most fruitful source of useful information for the student of the scriptures. It is likewise a witness for the divine calling and ministry of the prophet Joseph Smith. So in answer to your question, the Book of Mormon isn't wrong because it matches the translation, the, the King James Version of the Bible. It actually was written after the JST was, right? And it gives more understanding and insight 
to what we would otherwise have. So in other words, they're both correct, the original scriptures and the study guide version. I've also heard some people that they'll criticize the Book of Mormon because it includes some of the uh, considered uh, to be errors of the King James Version of the Bible. But um, here's the thing, if you actually look um, what's included in the list from the CES letter, what you'll notice is the discrepancies are, are small things like seraphims versus seraphim, uh, chicks versus chickens, and, and nowhere in any of those 14 are there any translational updates that modern scholars have, have made that, in my view at all, change the meaning of the verse or the doctrine that's being taught. There are over 200 verses in the Book of Mormon that differ slightly from their Bible counterparts, and extra commentary is provided for us in the JST. In other words, the Lord knew what he wanted changed and what was fine the way that it was. Joseph Smith himself didn't really consider translating a, a set in stone kind of thing. He once explained a, about a verse in Malachi. I might have rendered a plainer translation of this, but it is sufficiently plain to suit my purpose as it stands. Of all of this, the real question you have to ask yourself is, is whether or not you believe that the Book of Mormon and the JST is inspired by God and importantly, also, if it leads you closer to Christ. It says many Book of Mormon names and places are strikingly similar to many local names and places of the region Joseph Smith lived. It makes a pretty dang good argument that uh, Prophet Joseph Smith probably used these names and places.